the start taking you when you start getting up drinking a beer, that's kind of getting bad. You know what I mean? And it's like it really didn't hit me until like maybe after my father passed away. And it probably got a little bit worse when my mother passed away, but I probably didn't notice it. But then when my father passed away, it got a lot worse. It's like I made a promise to him. I said, I'm going to give you all my all. I mean, let's, let's stop playing. Let's do, let's do this. So that's what opened up my eyes. I just take it for myself. I had to do something. You know what I mean? But just asked a friend. I mean, and he told me, he told me about this place. I can't say I was scared for coming from where I'm from. You know what I mean? From, from, from South Philly. So I was born and raised and grew up. So but I see my part of the violence. So that didn't really scare me. Like, to be my people. I just didn't know that. I just didn't know what I was going to get into, you know. I got to meet the people you know, who was in here, and I mean, some of them I got to be friends. And some of them were surprised, you know what I mean. It's like, oh, okay, and like, oh, okay, but everybody's here for something different. You know what I mean? Life might be for drugs or drinking. This person just might just be homeless, you know what I mean? Then you see people just got just lost everything on, I see for gambling, you know, it's just a whole different bunch of things, you know what I mean, you, couldn't, you can't just pinpoint what the one person's here for, because somebody's always here for, for something else. So. I was a guy, he took me on his wing, you know what I mean, and I was, just, I, was I mean, I was his roommate and everything, and he was head of the kitchen, and so he taught, I started from the pots, you know what I mean, and doing juice, I, and then I was a cook, so I learned how to cook, you know what I mean, I already knew how, but then I learned how to cook for 1,500 people. When the young boys would come through, I try to talk to them, I said, man, don't go down this path, man, because it's going to end you up, man, smoking weed or whatever you do, you know what I mean, I said, I'm not down you for that, because I used to do that, but I actually did stop that. You're only 19, you know what I mean, or 20, you know, you got years ahead of you, you know what I mean. At least they got here. Take the class in the back. That's a growing field. You know what I mean? Do something. I mean, look at your future, man. I just think about it. You got, they got classes back here. Go take the class. I think they will help you to do it. You know what I mean? But just don't, they're throwing your life away. You, know, you really are throwing your life away. I found out they didn't really know. Probably doing what my dad does. Actually, I, and I like doing what he showed me, so I think that's what I'll be doing, doing the farming. From a, um, he taught me from a city boy to being a farm boy, so that's what I think I'll be doing. Planting, doing, you know what I mean, keep it on for him. I think that's what I'll do.